Hello, this is Sim Smart Palm. Today I talk to you about two things. One is to show you the flowchart of ESP32 module of a plant incubator, which I introduced to you in the previous videos. And the other is to show how to read the temperature and the humidity data from DHT11, which is temperature and humidity sensor in the plant incubator, using ESP32 module. Here is the part configuration image. Two LED light strips, a fan and a temperature humidity sensor are connected to ESP32 module as shown in the image. Here is the flowchart of program of ESP32 used to the plant incubator. Because I use Arduino IDE, the program is basically composed of three parts. One is for including library files and defining variables. Another is for saddle routine and the other is for loop routine. As shown in the image, in the definition process, I include libraries and define variables. In saddle routine, I initialize the variables and set internal functions. And then in the loop routine, I realize a function for receiving commands from smartphone, a function for setting operating parameters, and the function for freighting plant incubator such as LED light on off, fan on off, and the transmission of data to smartphone. The routine in the loop is done every 0.5 sec. Here is a template of program code in Arduino IDE. You can write to library files and the global variables on the top of the template. And then you put the setup code in the setup function as shown in the image. In the setup function, you initialize internal functions and the mode of IO pins and the values of variables. And then I write all other blocks in the loop function. I check a new command from smartphone every 0.5 sec and I update operating parameters whenever I receive a new command. And I operate the plant incubator according to the parameters. It is to read the temperature and the humidity values from the HD1 sensor, switch LED light strip, and the fan. Now, I talk to you about how to read the temperature and the humidity data from the HD11 using ESP32 modules. Here I use ESP32, WROM32, and the connection is shown in the images. Here is the test code. The function of test code is to read the data from THT11 and send the data to PC through USB cable every one second. And then I can monitor the data to an internal window of Arduino IDE. As shown in the image, at first I have to include the library file. The following video shows how to install the library here. After I include dht.h file like this, I define dht type as dht11. There are two types of dht sensors. One is dht11 and the other is dht22. dht22 is more accurate than dht11. After that, 
I make a variable and assign 4 to it. The variable DHT pin indicates a pin number of ESP32 which is connected to data output of DHT11. After that, I make a function DHT with the DHT template in DHT.h5. The declared function DHT has two parameters, DHT pin and DHT type. After that, I prepare two variables to keep values of temperature and humidity from the function DHT. After that, I set a serial for to, to communicate with the PC through USB cable, and then I initialize function DHT. After that, I can read the data from DHT11 with this code. In this process, I use the function of DHT, which is made with the template defined in DHT.h file. After that, I send the data to PC with a function serial.print. The difference between print and print ln is about line change. The code print ln start to write on a new line. The following video shows how to compile and download the program. You remember one thing, you have to push the boot button of ESP32 module when you download a program to ESP32 module. This video shows how to monitor the data in an internal window of Arduino IDE. Okay, here are the topics in the next video, maybe on the next Friday. The contents are about data protocol in communication with the app of smartphone and the real data transmission with the Bluetooth. Okay, it's all I want to talk to you today. Thank you for joining us. Please subscribe to this channel. It will encourage me to make a better presentation. I hope to see you to next Friday video. Bye bye.